Well, a little bit of a development. Um, Tabitha went to her appointment this morning, um, and I wasn't able to go because I, I had work, but uh, she got there, they checked her blood pressure, and they said it's high enough to be kind of danger zone for baby. So um, they, they are not admitted her yet, but they've, t they've sent her over to triage in labor and delivery where they're going to keep checking her and see if they can't get the blood pressure down. But I'm going anyway. I called in. I'm going. I brought the, the go bag and the diaper bag and the boppy because I was just like, whatever, I'm going to just grab some things. And then um, I am going to, now I'm going to go to Overland Park and go to where uh, the, the hospital is. And um, we're going to see what happens. So you guys are welcome to come along. Thatcher might be born in the next couple of days. Woohoo! Well, um, we're here. I'm here at, uh, I made it to the hospital. And I'm headed in to the, the labor and delivery area. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll have a, an update for you guys here shortly. So I'm waiting at the nurse's station to find out where Tabitha is right now. And so then we will uh, see what's going on from there. Okay guys, just a quick update. I did find Tabitha in her room and she's here. here I am. <laughs> she's a little worried, but um, the machine's taking her BP right now. The last reading was 160 over 85. And baby's heart rate, it's the machine's having trouble finding it because he's being a brat and moving around. Oh, and I, mo I moved a lot. Yeah. We had it earlier, so it's just, just a matter of finding it again, but that's fine. Um, I just took another read, and it's printing that right now. Or it's taking a read right now. Don't move too much, baby. So this top number is baby's heartbeat, which it can't find right now. Then, I don't know what... TOCO is. That's her BP, that's Tabby's BP, and that's Tabby's pulse, 67. So pulse is fine. The bottom number got a lot better. It was it was like a hundred and something last time. So um yeah, it's um Oh good. Okay, 158 oh, okay. over 75. So the BP is going down Starbucks. Quite a bit. So probably won't have a baby today. Cost me a trip to to triage to emergency room this might be a big cost no uh, it's it's labor delivery triage it's fine it's fine don't worry about it we have insurance better. yeah well anyway guys so that's what's going on probably nothing we'll probably be out of here soon and then i'll just either go to work late or just decide to just take the day and be with my wife anyway but uh yeah we'll keep you guys posted okay so we're still here and the blood pressure continues to get better and so probably looks like maybe no no thatcher uh hatching of thatcher today yeah. Yeah. but it's okay it was pretty um pretty intense there for a sec I, I have to say i was i was worried it was stressing but um i was keeping cool cool on the outside it's one of the important dads because you might feel all the stress and all the worry in the world but don't let it show because it's not helping her out it's not gonna help you out if you just calm it and suppress it, it'll go away and then things will be under control. Especially if you know that God's got everything under control. You don't have to worry about stuff because God said he wouldn't let us go through something that we cannot handle. He would not test us beyond what he knows we can handle. Now, maybe you think yourself, you can't handle it, but he knows you better than yourself. So there's there's your word of the day guys um but anyway yeah there's um tabitha it's a very small thing and i'm glad that i mean i kind of would have liked to see thatcher today but you kind of would gla i'm glad that it's not by well i'm sure those. we could we could tell him hey just go ahead no just you know fire it off hey, let's have a baby today why not yeah, no. yeah. woke up this morning uh, i really don't want was, it to be from that really didn't have any plans you know uh, might as well just mm, let's have a baby uh but no, they had to. Did you tell them that they had to wheel wheelchair me over here? No. And I felt so self conscious. I had my. I mean, it just felt so ridiculous. I was like, "Are you serious?" And it's it, just I was protocol. so embarrassed, and of course, yeah, it was just crazy. It's protocol. Don't worry about it. All right, let's look at the numbers. Baby's heartbeat is at 162. He's hearing us talk, it's and he really wants to. Not. The top it's okay. number's high, but the bottom number is getting way better. All right, 159 over 81. Which is, I guess, the one you want. Tabby's. 
because there's a baby thatcher pushing. you're pushing down hard up. if you have the internet in there and you're watching youtube lighten up on your mommy mm. anyway i'm very grateful for john i think that he is a sweet husband and i'm glad that he came even though it's probably nothing it was my first time like you know Freaking somebody out. telling me something was wrong um, and I'm glad that I have a sweet husband and I hope you guys have sweet spouses too that look after you it's so important who you choose um, to marry mm -hmm. so Thatcher if you watch this later you be careful don't let no hussies around <laughs> Dear. Right. Bad ladies. Right. You pick a good person that is loves the Lord and is able to put themselves aside for the other person. That's right. And I hope that I do that for John too. Because I think that it's mutual, not one or the other. You're great for me. I love you. I love you. Okay guys, this is another really quick update. Uh, blood pressure continues to get a lot better. 147 over 80, which is almost perfect. Um, but earlier, so you'll see right here on the little paper that um, Tabby went to the bathroom and when she got back, I pushed a button, I pushed the test button. Cause I was like, well maybe that will test the blood pressure cuff cause she had to put it back on. Cause she missed one cycle of test. But um, anyway, so like, <laughs> Then the nurse came in and I was like, yeah, push that button. She's like, yeah, let us push the buttons. So she was kind of, I think, a little upset with me. But She was actually really sweet about she it. She was, she was, but I think it probably like miffed her a little bit like, oh, stupid patient, stupid, <laughs> stupid patient husband. I probably would be doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, I, I, like, I definitely like, would. Why are they I definitely things? would. <laughs> if someone like tried to come into to Geek Squad and was like, no, see, I just got to do this and this and this. I'm like, okay, why'd you bring it in then? Why'd you bring the computer if you know what to do? <laughs> so anyway. But I just want to show you guys something. Even hospitals have computer errors. The IT guy in me wants to fix that right now, but I'm not going to, so. Okay guys, so really quick update. Again, there's the Tabitha. Oh, getting the blood pressure right now. Okay, so the doctor came in and said, hey guys, um, the blo her blood pressure is still like not great for, for the doctor. The doctor's not happy with it. Super, super happy with it. So. What's going on is they're gonna keep Tabitha here. She is technically admitted now, and um, probably can't see me through the backlight. Um, so she is getting admitted, to, and we're gonna get another room here pretty soon. And then um, I guess it's not technically a, a labor room, but it's like an, a, a, just a watching, keep an eye on her room with a better bed and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, I've called the the parents, <laughs> I've called my mom, and I called Tabitha's mom, um, but basically we're staying here, I'll probably have to go to get some things around, 171 over 89, so oh, yeah, it's still dear. bad. The top one's bad. Yeah. Oh, don't get my, well, it's fine. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you don't care anymore, we were having uh. a baby. So basically, what the doctor said is that uh, we're not leaving this hospital until we have a baby. So. Um, Thursday is is Tabitha's 37 week mark. That's full term, and in, in consideration of the hospital, that is full term baby. The baby could come at any time before this, in the last couple of weeks, and it would have been fully developed and fine. But this is a full term pregnancy, technically, at 37 weeks on Thursday. So, if she stays for two days, and the, and the the blood pressure stays okay, or if they just have to give her a little medicine to keep it down, then great, wonderful. But if not if the blood pressure continues to be not great then they're going to induce labor and we'll be on our way to having a thatcher boy so there you go thatcher this is um how you came into the world now we know we know it we know what's going to happen now and that's there's kind of a relief in that um that there's actually just something to know <laughs> and he's yeah did you hear that noise on the thing that's him kicking her um let's see yeah, there's some upwards movement. He probably is hearing me talk a lot too. That always gets him, he gets him like going. I don't know which one is the baby movement and which one is just the um, heart stuff. Um, I think if you oh, there's the the blood. I forget now. There's the heartbeat back. Oh, 
she moved again. Sorry, I'm moving. It's okay. The monitor's not in the right spot because because oh. he's moving. Oh, it's actually tracking him now. A little bit. Anyway, he's he's in the one staying in the one sixties, one seventies, um, with his heart rate. So, oh. yep, he needs to come meet the world. Um, Ooh, anyway, it's so be a September baby. I've been counting on. Yes, September, September baby, and a, and oh. and a Kansas baby. I knew he was gonna come early, but I didn't know that this is. Did I not predict this? Did I not predict you this? You did. You didn't predict this early, but... Yes, I did. You did? <gasps> you did! I, did. I said September. You said September! Although, Thursday... <gasps> Thursday is October. <laughs> Ow! She's punching me. Thursday is October. October 1st? Yeah. My insurance starts October 1st. <laughs> <laughs> no, correction. Thatcher's insurance starts October 1st. And yours, I guess, but you're still covered under mine. And I can then you did predict September, and I said, you jerk, no, not until the 9th, because my maternity leave doesn't start until the 9th, which, speaking what? of which, I need to call Maternity them. leave will start when we say it starts. They understand that <sighs> they it's a fluid them. number. Yeah, I have to call my HR, too, so um, I'll get off here for now. Well, my phone is resetting right now because it can't handle the awesomeness of this day. Um, no, but seriously, uh, I'm trying to call um, the HR center. Um, the benefit center for Best Buy so that I can communicate to them that my paternity leave uh, basically starts today um, and yeah so uh, this is crazy guys um, but you are along for the ride and we will I'll be posting this I have to go get my laptop tonight so I can edit uh, at the hospital basically what's happening is this baby's coming tonight not tonight sorry this week um, and he might wait till uh, October 1st, which would make him the October baby we thought he was going to be. Or he might be a September baby, we don't know. So Thatcher, there you go. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, that's just an update. Phone is resetting and Tabby is changing. Oh, we got into our room. So here's, here's the antepartum room. Um, this is uh, where we'll be for the foreseeable future. And then we will get into a labor room probably when they induce or, or what, ha what have you. But here we go. Game on, guys. Game on. <laughs> so your daddy's very nervous. I'm Thatcher. Not nervous. I'm excited. He's very excited. <laughs> he's he's very very sweet. I am happy that this is happening. I am pleasantly surprised that it's happening, um, but not. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy. I was coming in for a midwife visit. And anyway, I was just feeling very, very somber today. John David even thought that I was. He was wanting attention. <laughs> this music's so good. It's <laughs> he thought that I was being a little weird today. Um, maybe I just knew something was going to happen today. So. Anyway, now I'm in my pajamas because they're making me very tired because they won't let me eat or drink anything. Um, probably because they're thinking they're going to induce or they're going to do something possibly. So I hope they let me eat something before you come because um, I'm going to need some energy if we're going to do it naturally. Um, anyway, I like the hospital. I like the people. I like your daddy. <laughs> I like totals. Hey everybody, so uh, yeah, uh, we got in the antepartum room. Um, the other camera ran out of um, space uh, earlier. Tabby was trying to say some stuff on it. But I, I cleared off some of the footage, old footage off of it, and left it with her. And I've got actually the old standby camera, the old Samsung. And uh, so I am now going uh, I'm going home to get um, to get some more stuff because we didn't realize I was actually going to be staying, or that she was going to be staying, and I'm actually going to be staying with her tonight. Um, I guess I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, so yeah, I'm just running to the apartment to grab a few extra things and to make sure Niles is set with food and water, and then. We will be 
We'll be coming back with a little Thatcher baby boy after, after all this. Well, I'm still here. Um, it has been an hour. Feels like a lot longer. <gasps> I hate hospitals, have I ever said. Sorry, excuse me. I am grateful for them, but I don't like being in them because it's time consuming and I'm an impatient person. Anyway, <clears throat> so here I am. John has gone home to go get a couple other things that we needed um, or just wanted. Kind of more luxury things. Oh, sorry. I turned down the temperature to as low as it would go because when we first got in here it was so hot. Um, it was like, it was really hot. Anyway, so John was, if that makes him more stressed, so I turned it down all the way to kind of engage the AC while I was laying down and I hadn't gotten up to change it. So it was <sighs> down at 55 degrees, which makes me yawn when it's cold. So anyway, that's why I'm yawny. Uh, also, I haven't ate anything. <laughs> I know it's so whiny and I'm sure nurses are just like, ugh, these people. So I'm, I'm really avoiding calling them and saying, is there any kind of plan for letting me eat? Because I need something. I just got up to go use the restroom and it was like I was shaking and I am like so starving. And I've only had one glass of water, um, which was against her orders. She told me not to drink it all. Um, but anyway, so they should be coming in here in a little bit to check my blood pressure. They gave me a blood pressure medication. Um, that is safe for baby and me um, so we'll see what that does hopefully it lowers uh, my blood pressure somewhat and um, we can wait the two days um, if not I think that they're going to oh it's so cold I think they're gonna probably take some action but anyway it's just crazy because I woke up this morning not even thinking that this would would happen like um like consciously like i wasn't thinking that this would happen but john had said call me if they do you need to take the bag call me if they if they say that they're going to admit you i was like no they're not going to do that no way like whatever john anyway he's always right it's crazy and i know you're editing this but you are you're always right you predict when things are going to happen and you tell me what every time he's got it in fact i got mad at him when he said i predict you're gonna have this baby in september and i got mad i was like you you just want me sorry you just want me to have the baby early and don't say that because your predictions always come true and sure enough because he had predicted when we would get married he said that we would get married in like a month or something and sure enough we did and <clears throat> not that yeah, anyway, so, and other things he predicts, and he's always right, so, anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's freezing in here, so hopefully, I just adjusted the temperature, it can kick back up a little bit, um, so yeah, I haven't seen anybody for about an hour, I've been listening to music, just trying to stay calm and be in my peaceful play <sighs> excuse me I bet every single one of you who's watching this has yawned at least once since I've when since I've been videoing this because yawning it's it's what is it the, the I don't know if that's a part of the theory of reciprocity or what it is when you mimic another person or if it's empathy or whatever it is but when even just saying the word yawn can make you yawn it's very suggestive <clears throat> Anyway, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Abby aired the tires. Okay, everybody, I got, hopefully I got everything I need. I probably overpacked a little bit, but uh, you know, I'm a new dad, so sue me. Um, and now Mama Nita was kind enough to come pick me up. I dropped my car off so that when we leave, we'll leave in Tabby's car, which is all gassed up. Thank goodness we just did that. And the car seat's in there. 
hopefully it's in right and we don't need anything else from the house to strap it in but you know in the long run if i have to go to walmart and buy like a, a come along ratchet strap and strap that sucker down to the front then i will because that's the kind of guy i am right mama nita <laughs> mama nita's awesome she's coming to help me and we're gonna go to best buy to get another video or uh, sd card and then we're gonna go get something to eat maybe vice versa i don't know but uh, have I heard any, any new changes from Tabby? And she's got the other camera, so she is she's vlogging if she wants to. I don't know. But um, that's what's going on. What's going on in your life, Mama Nita? You went to the DMV, got your license renewed. They already know on Facebook. Woo dee woo, woo dee woo. All right, so that's that's it for now. I'm just waiting patiently, maybe not so patiently. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to, I really, I really want to draw, but I don't know if they have anything here. And I don't want to text John now, because he's probably left already. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, because John said I should kind of journal a little bit, or not journal, but document this, because it's therapeutic. Um, but I think that I cried a little bit with him because <sighs> did I make you on um, because he I don't know not because he but because it's just crazy that I'm here um, and just processing it that the baby that Thatcher he's gonna be here in just a matter of hours really I mean even if it is two days it's 48 hours it's just it's just crazy um to think about I was not like mentally prepared we hadn't finished our book I didn't get massage oil packed um uh I didn't do the blood bank the the cord the cord blood bank thing the cord bank I don't remember what it's called but I didn't fill out that I didn't you know, there's just all these little things that I was going to do before baby comes. But, um, it is good. Last night, I actually organized the closet, the baby baby's closet, Thatcher's closet. And I was very proud of it because I did a good job. And it looked really nice. And I didn't feel like doing it, but I did it because I wanted to do it. How do you want to do something but not feel like doing it? Well, pregnant ladies, word, I bet you know. Or chil ladies with children, or men with children. I'm sure everybody really knows how that is. But, um, but yeah, when you're pregnant, sometimes it's like, man, I, I've got all these things, this list of things that I need to do, and then, like, <laughs> oh, I don't feel like it. Oh, I'm just so tired. Oh, I'm fatigued. Oh, I just want to nap. But, uh, anyway, so, long story short, I fought that, and then I did a good job, and I felt very proud of myself, and, yeah, so, baby's moving really good, he is okay, he is fine, according to what the doctors have said, um, or the nurses, they have said that he's doing really good, and no problems, just, it's just a matter of, watching it to prevent I guess and so yeah anyway see you guys in a second Beep. okay so we are at the chicka filet you're getting some much needed nutrients uh, from from grilled chicken sandwich yes and then we're gonna go back to the hospital and see Tabitha and see what she's doing these days. We're Probably having a baby. We're out partying while she's making a baby. <laughs> okay, so I have just been visited by the, um, by my nurse. Um, or not my nurse, my charge nurse. I think her name is Jill. I might be wrong. But anyway, so she, she just came by and um, she got me all situated and replugged in because everything had gotten disheveled every time I move he 
it just it, it gets ruined um, and anyway it looks like it's gonna rain outside you probably can't see it but the sky's a little bit gray I wonder if you guys can hear me I don't know where the speaker is on this thing um, <clears throat> But anyway, so she came by and she said, hold on, she said that my blood pressure, she took my blood pressure and it is uh, lower, doing a little better. It's just 148 over 72. It's not that great. Not, I mean, it's fine. Um, um, oh, they said that, that I could eat probably now that I'm out of the danger zone. So they're going to come up with a plan for me. And... John's still not back. I hope he's okay. He said that he sped the first time. He said he, that he went 85 miles per hour, which you don't do because your wife needs you, you jerk. And the last thing I would need would be to be in the hospital, being forced to stay here because of dangerous things that could happen to the baby, and then find out that you'd been in a he'd been a wreck, been in a wreck. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know who to talk to. If, it's, if I'm talking to John, if I'm talking to you guys, if I'm talking to Thatcher, uh, it's just crazy. Anyway, uh, I was cracking up because like I watched the part of the video that I had just done. Ah, I'm yawning. <laughs> Made you yawn, I bet. Um, but I was watching that video and I was like, my eye looks so funny and I think it's because I've been laying on my left side for so long and my hip is numb and like they've been making me like stay on my left side so anyway I asked if I could just sit up because this was getting ridiculous I was just starting to feel funny um so anyway hopefully my face will even out <laughs> so yeah anyway that weird little fact about that um just how your face can change shape Anyway, so, yep, that's about it. That's the update, so. Well, guys, we're in the antepartum room. Tabitha's about to go take a shower. Mm -hmm. It is a little after 6 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, and Thatcher just kicked me in the stomach. <laughs> He's happy because those monitors are off. He's about to. They were squishing him. He's about to be... He's about to be moving around outside of her tummy. It's so crazy. It's going to happen. And He'll be able to kick me in the face in real life. Two days. So, yeah, that's the thing right now. Is everything is going well with the monitoring and stuff. She'll be having Thatcher on Thursday. We're just, she's in the hospital for the duration. And we are here until Thatcher comes out. We are not leaving until there's a baby in our arms. We're going to be parents in two days. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's what's going on, guys. We just thought we'd say goodbye for today because it's so, we've done so much and it's, I'm so tired. Tabitha John has Trump's done tired. so much. So, it's been so busy. Oh, I love you. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is the beginning of a new part of our life. And gosh, Thatcher, Jesus, <laughs> chill out. Ugh. Jealous? You jelly? I'm hugging your mama. And um, anyway, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to give us a like for this video. Definitely subscribe for more about new parents, <laughs> about being a new parent and, and and living vicariously through John, David, and Tabitha Stevens and little Thatcher. Um, thanks guys. Once again, talk to you later. Bye.